Hey, Internet. This is Internet Roundup. That's Josh and I'm Chuck. And this is uh, your home for all your home shopping and online gambling needs. <laughs> just kidding. We are, uh, what do we do here? We just round up the Internet. This is our Internet clubhouse. That's right. It's where we find fun, cool things yeah. and uh, share them with, eh, about five or six hundred people. Yeah. <laughs> so welcome home to all of you five or six hundred people. Indeed. To the clubhouse. Um, Chuck, we have a thing uh, that I want to make a, a jingle for. Yeah. I don't know if we'll have a jingle in time yet, so I'm going to do it live. Okay. <laughs> Acapella even. This is going to be great. Uh, it's neat website. Okay. Is that your... Oh, no. Sorry. So it's a neat website. It's a neat website. Big finish. Okay. So uh, we have a neat website, obviously. Maybe we can even get like a graphic or something. I think we just had one. I hope so. It probably overwhelmed people <laughs> <laughs> right like one of the letters fell off oh that'd be awesome uh, um so for neat website which is a new feature as you can tell or eat website as it's now called <laughs> <laughs> um we found something called uh scientific exploration.org uh and specifically you would want to go to scientific exploration.org slash journal slash articles and what it will bring up is this treasure trove of academic journal articles, yeah. which, wait, wait, don't start bleeding from your eyes yet, that are actually involved in investigating the scientific fringe and scientific anomalies. Yeah, it's really cool. And to have, like, just to have this stuff cobbled together in one place, because mm-hmm. you and I do research for a living. Yeah. And you know how maddening it can be to chase leads. Yeah, to have to go to more than one site. Yeah, all over the place. But it's really cool. They have PDF versions of some things like. Uh, common knowledge about the Loch Ness monster. Uh-huh. Uh, the strange properties of psychokinesis. Nice. Is there a Mars effect? Mm-hmm. The nature of time. That's I have that one printed out. I haven't read really? it yet, but it looks awesome. It looked really cool. I yeah. mean, three cases of reincarnation types. Three new cases mm-hmm. of reincarnation types in Sri Lanka, <clears throat> with written records. Yeah. It's so really cool stuff. And uh, they have the article, the the academic article on the hum. Remember the, yeah. the hum episode we did? It's mm-hmm. on there as well. Yeah. And, and you, uh, yeah, anybody can write an article. This is actually a peer-reviewed scientific journal. Yeah, this is not the National Enquirer. Right. Like when, when they are, talk about the Loch Ness Monster, it's as good as information as you can get. Yeah, right, exactly. On something like that. These are from academics ensconced in the halls of academia mm-hmm. who are like real scientists who That's are right. like putting real science to scientific anomaly so it's pretty cool yeah there's a lot of tweed that goes into these <laughs> yeah papers and uh leather elbow patches that's right so go check out scientific and uh, find the journal of scientific exploration there you will love it yeah agreed neat website <laughs> all right we, we uh, need to work on that jingle no i think it's fantastic i think um the next thing we have up is has to do with science as well and it is a pretty cool well, I think it's pretty cool. Project, um, where basically, when you have a kid these days, a baby, and for the previous... Not uh, a goat. <laughs> <laughs> when you have a baby these days, what they do uh, when you have a baby is something called a heel prick test, where they just do a little, kind of a, just a quickie blood test to find out some basic things about the, the health and future health of your baby. Yeah, basic is right, though. Really basic, uh, and it's been the standard for a long time um, until now. Now they're starting to do actual genome testing at birth. Right. Voluntarily. Yeah, the heel prick test, it costs about 25 bucks. The thing that's holding back genome um, is sequencing, I guess, yeah. is that uh, it's about $1,000. It's not that much money, though, when you're talking about what you can learn. No, because you're talking about whole genome sequencing, like taking a little bit of the baby's blood and figuring out exactly how its DNA is mapped out. And that's something that you can carry around for the rest of your life. So as medicine becomes more and more gene-based and personalized, you can say, oh, I'm coming down with asthma. And the doctor can say, let me see your genome. And they'll punch it in and they'll go, here is some St. John's wart. Right, or, well, probably not St. John's word, <laughs> but more specialized, specific medicine tailored to you as a person. Yeah. Um, they had one case they reported of uh, Children's Mercy Hospital said that they had a little baby girl, and they thought they were going to have to remove her entire pancreas because of very low blood sugar. Uh, and because of the whole genome sequencing, they found 
you know what? We just have to remove a small portion of her pancreas, mm-hmm. meaning she doesn't have to permanently be on insulin her entire life. Because they were they took the pancreas out. Yeah, exactly. Can you imagine the guy who like finished the genome sequencing, ran to the <laughs> OR room right as the scalpel was about to go? He's like, stop, right. stop. Yeah. Just cut that little part out. That's probably how it went down. So that's just one of the examples. Um, and this is this is postnatal. Like one of the big yeah. concerns about testing of any kind is that you know you're gonna basically like eradicate people with Down syndrome or something sure. like that if it's um, perinatal. Yeah. Or neonatal. Prenatal. No. Prenatal. That's the one I yeah. was looking for. <laughs> this is this is postnatal. So it is after you're born. They say, okay, you have. You're probably going to have this. You're going to have that. Yeah. You have this right now. Right. Um, and for the stuff that, you know, you have this right now, that's what people are going for. Like to to get a, a gene, genome sequence done yeah. and to say, oh, well, they have this developmental defect or sure. you have this um, genetic disease. We can actually treat that. Yeah. It's immediately helpful right now. Yeah. And even if it's not a disease, it's something that you can just... Uh structure their life such that they have the best possible chances right. at leading like a good healthy life. Yeah. Um, not everyone's on board. They did a survey of 514 parents at uh, Brigham and Women's Hospital and 83% they said said they had some level of interest, but there are some people on uh, in, quoted here in the article that say like, I'd rather not know these things. Right. Um, which I don't really get, but I guess you know if you're a parent, that's your decision to make. Plus, you could well, you could have a mutation that potentially could give you a disease further. Well, they down don't know the for road. sure though. That's part of the problem. Yeah, it's it, like it's not like a guarantee. Right. There's still a lot of work to be done as far as uh, what these results show. So, plus, I guess I, I get that. A lot of people also are worried that if you if your entire genome is sequenced and it's out there, yeah. somewhere in a database that insurance companies can get their hands on it and oh. discriminate against you based on that. I didn't that. really think about that. Yeah. Yeah, wow. This so is it's a, a slippery slope. It's complex, but I mean, it could be very beneficial to, yeah. to be able to scan your, your genome and say, here is your St. John's wart. It's Gattaca, baby. Oh, yeah, there's that. Uh, all right, is that it for this week? That's it, man. Okay. Well, uh, we will see you next week on Internet Roundup.